college campuses are changing, schools are seeing a drop in the number of male students. Michael George takes a look at why this is happening. When Marcus Pickens graduated from high school, he went to college, but ran into challenges almost immediately. Once I got into college, I was having significant financial problems. So I ended up having to work seven days a week. So I ended up having two jobs. The workload became too much and Pickens dropped out. His decision is part of a growing trend. About four in 10 college students are men. Colleges and universities have lost one and a half million students over the past five years. And men make up 71% of the decline. It appears that will continue. The group Common Application says women filed a million more college applications this year than men. Ron Lieber, the author of The Price You Pay for College, told CBS Mornings that men are often not as mentally prepared as women. We're spending all this money on college for people who may not be ready, and men, young men, um, don't come along as quickly as young women do. He says some teens might want to take a year after high school to work or volunteer. There can be all sorts of jobs where you can go to find your passion or just rule something out. Because if you can figure out something that you don't want to do in the world, that you don't want to study and right. waste money on later, you've accomplished something very important. After leaving school, Pickens started his own business. For me, starting my own company, you know, it was actually very liberating. It actually brought me a lot of experiences. It actually helped me get into better positions in life. He says navigating the business world has given him a unique education without a classroom. Michael George, CBS News, New York.